Welcome to Jesus Calling for February 13th. Peace be with you. Let's look at John 20, 19 to 21 and John 14, 27. I love this. John 20, Jesus appears to his disciples. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. John 14, 27 says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Peace be with you. Ever since the resurrection, this has been my watchword to those who yearn for me. As you sit quietly, let my peace settle over you and enfold you in my loving presence. To provide this radiant peace for you, I died a criminal's death. Receive my peace abundantly and thankfully. It is a rare treasure, dazzling in delicate beauty, yet strong enough to withstand all onslaughts. Wear my peace with regal dignity. It will keep your heart and mind close to mine. That is so good. I really, really like that. I'm going to go back and read that one sentence again. Peace be with you. Ever since the resurrection, this has been my watchword to those who yearn for me. You know, and it's so true, isn't it? I mean, even back then, they were just struggling to try to find peace. And when he came to them, they were afraid. And what did he say? Peace be with you, right? And I just love this next line that he has in here as well. To provide this radiant peace for you, I died a criminal's death. Receive my peace abundantly and thankfully. So, you know, when we don't trust him, it's almost like a slap in the face to God, right? He's giving us his peace. He's saying that we should trust him in all things, even if our future seems very uncertain, which in times we all have very uncertain futures, right? But he is saying, just have my peace. And when we don't believe him, it's kind of like we're just really not trusting him and believing what he says in his word because his word says he's going to have peace. And he gave us that peace at the expense of a criminal's death. He died on the cross for you and I so we could have peace. Not as the world gives does he give, but he gives this great peace deep, lasting peace. So I hope today you just take him at his word and that you don't worry. Because if you do, it's like you're not trusting God. It's almost like disobeying him, really. Yes, it is. Like sometimes Mandy disobeys. Not so good. We just need to trust that he is going to give us this peace and just believe him. So I hope today you have a peaceful day trusting him, taking him at his word. And I'll see you back here after your peaceful day tomorrow. You can order your own Jesus Calling devotional book by going to JesusCalling.com. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, NancyJoyToYou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.